Hi Stampers! Today I'm going to show you how to make the secret panel card. Okay? I've made two different versions here. This one, if you open it all the way, you see the full card and then you have to find the secret panel. If you open it, you can grab this center panel and you can open it this way. So that's the secret panel. It opens all the way and it opens in the center. Okay? That's that card. And then uh, what I did is I made this one and I added the full front, the four and a quarter by five and a half front <clears throat> and back to it. Um, this one I just used that center piece right here, this set section, and you can open it all the way. And here's your secret panel for that one. So all the way, and your secret panel. And then on this particular one, I decorated both sides. So depending on how much you want to decorate too, you wouldn't have to. You could leave it just like that and just open it and not decorate the back side. Okay. But I'm going to show you how to make the secret panel. You're going to start with the 12 by 5 and a half piece of decorative cardstock, or you could use a solid, it doesn't matter. 12 by 5 and a half, and you're going to score at 3 six, and nine. Okay. And then you're going to fold it as in a fan fold. So fold it in half and then fold your two ends out. So this is your basic card then. Okay, it's just a fan fold or an accordion fold. Okay, then you're going to use your paper cutter and you're going to fold your card in half and you're going to cut at one and seven eighths of an inch down to your score line. So this is the center score, the center fold, this is the opened in, and I've got it lined up at 1 and 7 eighths, and I'm going to cut it down to my score line, which is kind of hard to see on this paper, but I can feel it. Okay, and I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other end, 1 and 7 eighths, and I'm going to fold, cut it on the fold down to that first score line. Okay? So when you get done, you're going to end up with this. It's easier to see it on this side. You're going to have three separate cups here in the middle. Okay, then all there is to it for your secret panels, you need two, three, by five and a half. Actually I cut them to two and seven eighths because you want them to fit and um, fit snug but not too tight. And I'm going to do it on this side. And I'm going to put one in with the center up and then I'm going to weave the other one in the opposite direction. Okay. So that's my card base. Okay, there's my open version and there's my secret panel. Okay? It's really fun to, to open those. It's kind of like the magic billfold technique. Okay? So then you can either decorate it like this and you have the other side as well or you can put 
So four and a quarter by five and a half on both the sides, on the front and the back, and make your card that way. And that's what I'm going to choose to do. I'm going to go ahead, and this is Pink Perot, and I used the Love You Bundle set for this. This is the designer paper, the Candy Lane, and then the Pink Perot and the Riding Hood Red. Okay, so I'm going to use the double-sided tape, and I'm going to tape it on the front of the, the designer cardstock. Start to tear my cardstock. Okay. And I'm going to put a pink Perot on the front. Very sticky. And I'll have to trim this when I'm done, but I'll do that. Okay, then I'm going to put the tape on the back side there. And put the back cover on. Okay, and there's the basis for my card, and then you can just decorate it however you want to. Okay, so if you want to see these again, this is without the outside. It opens this way, and again I decorated both sides. Or this one with the full card, decorate the front like a full card. And then it opens all the way, and then the secret panel. Okay? And again, I didn't decorate the back of this one, just the front. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Have fun making your secret panel card, and I'll see you next week.